A couple months ago, I got my new iPhone 13 Pro and was having problems charging in my car. I have been using a dual Qi charger that I got back in August of 2019. It was working well for my iPhone XR in its clear plastic case. However, the new phone has a dramatically thicker lens bump that makes the case thicker too. Due to this, my wireless charger stopped working because of the further distance from the charging coils on the charger to the phone. Here you can see the new phone on the right on a flat surface, showing how the phone is lifted up by the lens bump. So I researched some solutions and found that the latest version of the Taptez wireless charger should be an improvement. I purchased this one from the Taptez website for $35 since it was much cheaper than from Amazon at the time. That must have been a limited time sale since now it's $50 on both Amazon and the Taptez online store. Let me start the unboxing now. Here's the box and on this side you can see that it's a model TM3-05-15W. And on the front it shows a variety of Taptez products that are available. Flip open the lid and we see the underside of the charging pad. It uses micro USB connectors on this side to connect to the car. By the way, my 2018 Model 3 is among those compatible with this unit which supports Model 3s before June 2020 and that have two USB-A connectors in the front. This updated charger has a thinner bottom shelf that allows for larger phones to be used. There is a phone divider at the top part of the unit along with two LEDs that show the left and right sides when they are charging. Here's a diagram showing the LED color meanings, orange when charging, white when fully charged, and orange flashing when there's an error and of course no LED when the device is not present. This also shows a major benefit of this design. You can use your phone horizontally while charging. There is a third charging coil that is centered below the left and right coils. After I take out the charger, I remove the cardboard separator and that reveals the cables. The two top cables are for connecting the micro USB on the rear of the charger to the USB-A ports in the car. The other two Y adapters below allow you to split the USB in the car for charging and for say using a flash drive. But since I already have a Taptez USB Hub Pro, I will not need to use these Y cables and will leave them in the box. Now I'll attach the two USB cables to the back of the unit. By the way, the round extensions that you see on the back are for making the charger stable in the car. I also want to mention that the charger has a nice soft rubberized finish on the surface. It's grippy and I didn't have any issues with the phone sliding around while driving. Moving inside the car, let's install it now. First, I'll remove the current wired setup that I was using while waiting for this to arrive in the mail. I pop off the rubber base and then pull the USB cables through the back of the charging panel. Take the new charging pad and guide the left and right cables through the left and right holes, respectively. Take the USB cables and plug them into my USB hub on the front wall of the storage area. If you don't have a USB hub, you just use the Y adapter cables that I showed previously in the box. A 
Adjust the charger so it sits correctly on the car's charging panel like so. Then I put the base of the panel back on. It slides from the left to the right and snaps in. And now I can test it out. Mind you, this is the first time I'm seeing this, so I hope it works well. I'll place my new iPhone 13 Pro on the left charging area. And you can see that the left LED light is lit orange. And here's a close-up. And for the right side, I take the phone out and move it over. And as you can see, it also starts charging. It's a little harder to see the LED light, but it is lit on the right side. Next is the third position, horizontal. I'll lay down the phone with the top towards the right and as you can see the left LED is now the one to show that is charging. Let me flip it around the other way and see if that makes a difference with the top towards the left side and it also starts charging with the same LED. You can see that there's a USB cable sticking out a little bit at near the top that connects to my tablet. Ignore that, I just need to tuck it underneath so it's not visible. That will also let it lie a little bit more level since you can see that the uh, right side of the base is sticking up a little bit higher. So we have a great result the phone is charging in all the different positions and I have wireless phone charging again in my Tesla Model 3. If you don't use a case, a newer Pro phone may be able to work on older charging pads, but some have weaker charging coils on them compared to the newer ones. The ability to charge while horizontal is great if you like to use the phone app like Waze to navigate your car. And that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.